Hey Brunswick fans, we're here to talk about shoes and bags with none other than Bugsy Kelly. Bugsy Kelly, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> You're new to the industry, right? No, you've only been here for the last 15 years or something, yeah, right? That. No, it's You're all right, good. Yeah. Good stuff. So Bugsy, thanks for having us thanks here at the booth. So you've worked tremendously over the last couple of years to develop a brand new shoe line for Brunswick, yeah, right? Yeah. Success has been pretty good for us back in Canada. If you don't mind, please show everybody back home. Um, you know, from top to bottom, what you've changed, what you've learned through the process. Sure. So just in general, trying to make uh, bowling more fashionable for Brunswick, or as a Brunswick line of shoes. Uh, trying to take a look at what's out there in fashion, just everyday fashions or running shoes, that type of stuff. What women like, men like, what they're wearing outside of bowling alleys. Try to make incorporate that into a, a bowling shoe line. So that's our Brunswick line. We've got uh, all different price points. Um, everything from the really uh, uh, high-end leather shoes uh, with interchangeable soles and heels, all the way down to uh, affordable shoes that are still athletic looking and, uh, and, and nice to, you know, to wear in the bowling center. So on the women's side, kind of starting at the lower end, we've got our, our new uh, Mystics, two different colors for you, a navy and a fuchsia. Yep. I'll be your product, uh, there you go. Vanna White over here, yep. right? So what's this compared? So this is the brand new entry level brand one, entry. right? Yep. So two colors for that. Yep. Right. Going up from there, uh, kind of a canvas type of shoe, um, kind of a different look, a little more style, something women women are going to wear with jeans and uh, capris and stuff like that in a bowling center. When I saw this for the first time in Muskegon a couple months ago, this is one I picked up. Yeah. I, I even showed my wife a picture yes. of this one. Yeah. Too. Yeah. We've had a lot of success with some shoes called uh, Karmas. We have Karma Sport. We took that same material from a Karma and we put it into a more athletic looking shoe. Karmas were kind of a boat looking shoe. Uh, so we incorporated this purple and pink look and then also a gray. And gray's done really well for us in the Karma line. And then a high-end women's shoe. This is a new entry this year called the Intrigue. So the Intrigue is an interchangeable shoe for women. Uh, it comes with two soles in the box and uh, a fixed heel. So it's kind of a lower price point into, the, into that interchange. And this market. is synthetic upper, right? Yeah, synthetic. Okay, yep. great. Pretty lightweight too for a high-end shoe, right? Yep. Renegades. This is our entry-level shoe for Brunswick. And, um, yep, we've got a youth also there. Same Renegade there. Uh, so a new lower price point, kind of the same as the Mystic as far as pricing goes and, and the market that it's going to hit. Uh, but colorful outsoles here, blue and green. Hasn't really been done a lot in bowling in that price point, so we like those shoes. They're lightweight, slide great right out of the box. They're very comfortable. Nice lining and padding on the inside. And then Frenzies have been a staple from day one, about oh, three years been, ago. They've been awesome. Yeah, we, we came out with Frenzies three years ago. We have some very colorful looking Frenzies, red, green, and blue. And this is called Frenzy Static. It's just a kind of a knit material, which is really popular today with, in athletic shoes. A lot of Under Armour shoes out there with that kind of material. So we wanted to go, go that direction. And then Fuse. Fuse is a shoe we came out with last year. Um, once again, going after kind of a running shoe look. A lot of uh, mesh, a lot of knit on them. Uh, very lightweight, but we went colorful this time with a nice silver and a blue outsole. Looks really good. Fuse Silver Sky. New colorway for uh, Rampage. Once again, this is kind of like the intrigue with the uh, interchangeable soles. So fixed sole or fixed heel and interchangeable soles, two in the box. New color, and this comes left-handed also. Okay, stuff. New color for the Phantom. So the Phantom we had in silver and white last year. Now we've got royal blue and black. So it comes with three soles and three heels in the box. A new price point for us, kind of, kind of bridging the gap between a Phantom and our Team Brunswick, which is our high-end shoe, is called the uh, Punisher. This comes with four soles and uh, three heels in the box. And it's right and left-handed in this shoe here. So two different colorways. Two different colorways Silver and black and then a lime green. And last but not least, our Team Brunswick shoe. This comes with all the bells and whistles. It's a high-end leather shoe, very comfortable, soft leather. Uh, five soles, five heels. This comes in right-handed. We have a black one that comes in left-handed and wide also. The, the real pull with the Team Brunswick shoe compared to the competition, and you know, it says it in your ad slicks too, is that everything is in the box. You know, so you even have the nice little carry bags, you got the shoe covers, you got everything in this. Really good looking shoe. So definitely check that out, Team Brunswick Shoe. So that's the shoe line from Brunswick this year. Bugsy, thanks for your time explaining the, the shoe line. Let's head out on over to the bags now. Very good. Hey Bugsy, we built a fort out of all these new bags you got, man. Look at all these bags. You got new colorways. Looks really awesome. You got the little purple and neon, the blue and the neon green. These things are massive, man. Kind of show us a little bit what, what kind of goes into these bad boys. So we wanted to take a high-end bag and, and uh, kind of revamp our high-end line and really give you some high-end features. So we started with the new base. Of course, the new colors and everything. We got some really sharp-looking colors. Really nice material. 
a different way of putting on some logos. It's kind of an embossed screen that we did on there, so it's raised. It's kind of cool look. And you got the nice same logos on the side. Huge wheels. Yep, we wanted to, to bump those up a little bit and give you a little more value in the wheels. Um, like I said, we also have a new base, which is worth looking at here. Kind of close. It's kind of cool. It's got these big ball cups in it that also come out. The balls, you can put three bowling balls in here, stand it up, and they don't fall out. The ball cups really hold them in, which is a nice feature. On top of that, you got the nice Brunswick lining on the inside. Two mesh pockets that I don't, I don't think have been done before. So just somewhere to put some more accessories, some Avalon pads, uh, keys, that type of stuff while you're bowling. Uh, these, of course, that hold the balls in place. This shape to the base also. It's an inset handle. A little more sleek look here. And, of course, the big wheels. Tons of pockets. Yep, does pockets. a ball fit on the top here? You can set a ball on the top. Yep. So it does not fit in here, of course. Okay. Yeah, no, that's a little not okay, big. I, th I thought it was a ball compartment. No, it is big. There's a lot of room here in this bag. Huge accessory compartment here at the yep. top. Big compartment for shoes. Shoes going there. Yep, shoes and accessories will fit here. I made that for a basketball player. Big, big shoes. Yeah. Not for me. There you go. And then pockets on both sides. So four total pockets on the sides in addition to what you have there on the top. So plenty of room awesome. for all your needs. So if you're one of those bowlers that tags along too much product, which is a good thing, yep. too much Brunswick product in the bag, there's, then not, you could, there's never too much. You, so this bag comes in the two colors, like Mark said, and also comes in two ball rollers. You have the two ball, yep, two ball roller right here. For determined handle. players, you also have the great two ball tote. So you get the three ball tote, two ball tote, and even the travel tote. Yep. Ball so tote, the pocket on the side here, lightweight for travel, uh, airplane use. And then plenty of room for three balls. It fits comfortably. Great stuff. You got some new colorways also on the T-Zone bags. Yep, single totes, T-Zone. This is Blue Wave. We also have an edge. So two bags have done really well for us. Added lime green. Lime's done well on the other lines. The double and triple, uh, triple roller, rollers there. So. And you also brought another bag to check out. And the Blitz. Blitz, Blitz. triple roller. This is kind of the economy triple line for us. The nice thing about this bag is it's got the same high-end uh, handle feature that we've had in the past. So nice inset handle. Uh, fully adjustable there. Big pockets. Not your thing wheels though. No, those are uh, those are PVC. Yeah, but they're still soft roll pretty PVC, nice. Soft Bearings. PVC, so they roll really nice. Yeah. Plenty of room for accessories and everything that you need up here. Any size shoe you have, and then all the accessories. On. So make sure you check out all the Brunswick bags and shoes available at Buffa Distribution Shop. Go to BrunswickBowling.com. Also make sure you follow Bugsy on social media and check out the Brunswick page on all social media platforms. Again, Bugsy, thanks right, for your thanks time fine. for everything. Appreciate it. Make sure you guys buy Brunswick. Thank you. <laughs> See you. Hey, Bob, I think this grip is too big. Ultimate inserts, they're the ultimate size. That's exactly That's right. it. We're here at the ultimate booth with none other than legendary Mr. 300, Bob Learn. Bob, awesome to, to, to be here with you. So just for folks back home, they probably don't know that uh, Ultimate Inserts was acquired by Brunswick uh, about what, six, eight months ago now? Uh, yeah, about eight months ago. Yeah, so uh, it's a great fit organizationally. You now have access to all the pros and, and also to great pro shop equipment. Right, right? absolutely. Which is a great fit for, for the team here at Brunswick. So let's start off uh, not only talking about the grip, so let's talk a little bit about the pro shop equipment. Ultimate is known for Rips as far as you know the tour is concerned, right? But we have so many other products. Black Magic was always one of my favorite polishes. And, Tried and true. Yeah, and even the Triple XL. Like if you if you can't polish a ball, like this is gonna take care of it. Like that gloves. Yeah. If, if you have a problem with hook, try the Triple X. It ain't hooking. So you guys have some great product. The Quick Cut is, is a great product as yes. well. Um, so one of the easier compounds to use, in my opinion. Yep. Don't have to add any water or stuff like that. It's just very a, simple. Yeah, very simple to use. Let's talk a little bit about quick plug. You know, quick plug is something that we use quite a bit in our shop. We get a lot of people from outside coming in. We use your quick plug the most. It's very cost effective. So kind of tell us a little bit about some of the added features that you like about the quick plug. Well, what's great about it is it's clear. All right. So as far as getting color, it's very easy to work with. Obviously, with a pre-major bottle. Makes it very simple to get exact measurement. Squeeze the material into this cylinder and it pours off. So you have exact measurement, both part A and part B. What's the so, cure time on this? About 45 minutes. Yeah. You can be drilling. So within maybe an hour or two, two hours tops, you're pretty much dry, ready to go. And it accepts color very well. Yeah. And the bottles are small too, so practically not too much waste. 
Right, it's great right. for shipping as well. Right. So we still have the pump feature. Okay. And that would come in our Wizard 31, which is the overnight formula. 12, 16 hours, uh, depending on, you know, humidity and whatnot. Right. But 31 is a really good, clear, once again, plug. And so, not only is it clear and easy to color, but if you use our pigmented coloring system, instead of dye, it takes very little product to make it. If you notice, the sizes are a little different. Obviously, there's a ratio here that we use. The pumps are obviously pre-measured. And when you run out of the hardener, you're gonna run out of uh, the other stuff. So we're, you know, we're not leaving old and bringing in new. So right. it actually keeps everything fresh and working. So it's well. called 31 because it's three to one ratio? Yep. When I first started working uh, with interchangeables, we never knew what grip pressures really were in bowling. There's a lot more grip pressure uh, in bowling than we first uh, you know, really thought. Better players, not so much, but you know, with a lot of other players that like to propel the ball down the lane at the pins, there's a lot of grip pressure there. So we do recommend epoxy for interchangeable thumbs because it, it is a much stronger bond than uh, you know just regular glue. The, slu the super glue, like, yeah, so like the slow set glue. Well right. the regular glue. Right. So you would apply this on the female part on the outer sleeve Correct. of your interchangeable of the ultimate thumb. That's correct. Right. And it comes in color. So you have a green and a clear. So you'll see the green in, in the mix when you put it in the cup. As you mix it, it'll become clear. You know it's ready to put in. Nice. We also have some cleaners that are really good. Cover stock, rejuvenator, really good stuff. Yep. And the, and the gel maintenance. is awesome. I really this like really the gel. Yeah. This is exceptional. We also have our foam version of the gel. So again, just a complete line of Pro Shop accessories comes in small bottles for retail use and also comes in the big mama bottles for you to use in your shop. So let's now talk a little bit about the grips and the slugs. You guys have been in the slug game for a really long time. Yes. And now you just started dabbling in the uh, in the grip game, but still very strong cult following about the grips. And tell us a little bit about the, the feature in, in inside the grip. Well, let's just look at our, the our mega model grip. here. <laughs> Actually, you do see a little more bevel in the top of this. Not as sharp as some of the other grips out there. That actually helps a lot with tearing. And not only that, our material isn't as tacky as other grips. So you're not going to have a lot of the, especially the high rev players, really get cut up right. quite easily by that. And so they use tape to make, basically mask the issue. Uh, with this, of course, uh, we've come up with a, a grip that is just more, more friendly to the hand and uh, more comfortable, actually, if you, as far as I'm concerned. We also have a clear grip that in other lines is very, very tacky, yeah. and ours is not. It's yeah. actually very consistent very slim. with the yeah. other colors. Yeah. So that's that's really the biggest difference. We have our power lift, we have our uh, perfect oval, and we also have our semi version as well. We do, however, have the option of a softer grip. So we have that now. For those people that just love paint, we have that for you. <laughs> Good stuff. All right, Bob, so let's talk a little bit about the ultimate thumb. Explain to us not only the install procedure, but like what are the components of the Ultimate Thumb? Very simple two-part system. One piece outer, one piece inner. The difference in our system is it has four tabs for more secure locking. Where the tabs are is very, very important to some of the issues we have in other interchangeables. They're here and here, and tracking in the other systems are right at the bottom. What happens is when we drill ball sometimes, we'll have expansion of the core, which creates compression on that bottom part where that lock systems are and the other devices. And therefore, if, if you don't have that cleared very well, you're gonna have a lot of problem with getting that to actually move once you get it in. This is a much more friendlier system to that uh, issue. Those tabs, we have a large tab and a small tab. If you have it backwards, you can't put it in. You spin it, you can only put it in one way. I can show you, if I put it in just halfway, there's a very, you hear that click? Very distinct. It doesn't go away. Very secure, no movement. We did make some modifications and even make it tighter than it used to be. It's a solid, solid device. So One of the features that I really like about it, Bob, is that you can drill out the bottom. Yes. So you don't always have to watch your depth gauge to make sure you don't drill out the locking mechanism. That's um, correct. That's what I, I like about it. If you wanted to drill a little bit deeper in the thumb, because 
you know, you put a little bit more thumb weight or something. Yeah. And also on the outer piece, you do have that collar, right? So yeah, you a little flange that kind of sits right there, so you know you have the proper depth. Yeah. Uh, so you get that consistency from ball to ball. Yeah. So make sure you check out the Ultimate Thumb, available at Booth for Distribution. Also check out uh, ultimatebowling.com. Bob, thank you for your time, sir. Okay. Thanks again, everyone. And make sure you root for him on the PBA 50 Tour. All right? Oh, yeah, I am in the 50 Tour now. <laughs> cool. All right, thanks, everyone. See you.